Okay, this is the latest and greatest Cicada CA AMP DSP software. It now works with OS 11 and OS 12. This is the start page. We're going to go past the start page and we're going to go to, which is summing. <clears throat> now we're kind of going to ignore that for a second and go down at the bottom right to EQ. So in EQ, you're going to see that there are six channels that you can EQ, but there are eight bands of equalization. So you can see band one, this band, see how I moved it? That band, that band, followed the orange. So you have a lot of bands to touch. Now, normally what will happen is you'll already have some crossover set up. So let's go to crossover because I teach always, especially on motorcycle, you have to high pass everything. High pass, high pass, high pass. Now, the good thing about my app is it's actually very logical and makes things easier. So you have six channels to deal with. Now it's a four channel amp, but it has two channels preamp out. So we're only gonna really deal with four channels. So if you see at the top, see how orange channel one is? Now if I go down at the bottom, you'll see grouping one and two, group one and two. Now we'll go to three, group three and four. Five, group five and six. We're just doing that just because we can. So now it's all grouped. So we stick to crossover. Let's go back to channel one. You'll see that one and two highlight. Pick high pass, 12 dB, tap inside the frequency, hit XX. Now let's hit 80 because we're going to high pass six and a half. Say done. <clears throat> let's go to channel three and four. Let's say those are six by nine. Again, high pass, 12 dB, tap inside the frequency, put in 60, done. So we've already done that. Let's go to EQ. Now we're in EQ. Now you'll notice that we're already on channel one. Again, let's group these, one and two, three and four, five and six. Okay. So now they're all grouped from an EQ standpoint. So if I go to channel one, one and two are going to be EQ'd simultaneously. Three and four are going to be EQ'd simultaneously. This is really good for motorcycles because you really do not have time issues or left to right issues because everything is equal distance from your ears. So we really don't need to time left channel to right channel and EQ them differently. In a car, we would do that because you're off far to the left, the reflections are different, the absorption is different, everything's different. But on a bike, don't have that issue. So let's go to channel one. And now, <clears throat> let's slide an EQ up just for fun. So you'll see that last band of eight is lit up at the bottom. So I'm going to slide it up and see how it goes up, right? Also, notice how narrow that is. Now, that's the Q. Now, the Q, if you go down near the bottom, well, kind of in the middle, it, the Q says 7.2. Now, let's go up to, like, 20. Now notice how narrow that Q is. That's a lot like a third octave. This is one of the problems with third octave EQs is they tend to be very narrow band. And when you slide them, a lot of times you don't hear any change. I teach in my seminar with the third octave EQ. I go, let's play the guessing game. Guess the frequency you think is offensive. We say 3.5K. Uh, okay, so we go to 3.5K. I go, go to that frequency, slide the slider all the way up and all the way down. So that's 12 up and 12 down dB. I'll bet money that you slide that up and down and you hear no difference. And you're like, well, wait a minute. I moved it 24 dB and I didn't hear anything. That's because of this, of how narrow it is. Now, if you play music while you're doing this, slide the cue down and it helps have a, a stylus because it just makes it. Now, notice I've made the cue wider. See how wide that is? So I can affect more bands easily. So it's easier to tune. So let's say, typically, a horn has a peak in the 5, 6, 4, 5, 6K. So we go to, let's go to band 6. See how I highlighted it? Let's cut it. See where it's cut? It's cut at 3,200. If you go down, in frequency, you'll see it's 3,200. Let's make it uh, 4K, 4,000. Say done. And see how narrow it is, that, that Q. Let's go down a little more so you can see it. See the Q? Now watch when I move the Q, the slider. See how wide that gets? You can really hear that. 
this makes this very powerful and much easier to deal with than the third octave because you can do things much quicker and easier. So get used to the frequency adjustment and the cue adjustment. That will make life so much easier. Also, make sure you're grouping things because if you group it, it's a lot easier to deal with. So that's the lesson today, a very short, quick one. Hope you enjoyed it. There'll be more.